One of the most profound uh, chapters of Matthew, Matthew's uh, book or letter, is Matthew 18. Uh, picture the scene here. The Messiah is being uh, thronged by people and little children go up to him. They go through the crowd and little children are attracted to him. And the disciples come along and say, don't bother the master. Go away. Go away. Shoo, shoo, shoo. And he says, don't do that. Stop it. Let the little children come to me because the kingdom of heavens belongs to such like one. Now here's the interesting point which we all have to consider. Is anyone, first of all he said this, you must turn around and become like little children. You. Anyone who stumbles, one of these little ones who put faith in me, it's better for him to go and put a millstone around his neck as pulled by a donkey or an ass and go and jump in the river or sea. Go swim with the fishes, if you like. If you stumble, one, one child or one childlike person, it's not just about it, it's about people who come to the Messiah. Hebrews says, look, I and the little children the Father gave me. In Hebrews 2, I think it is. So, look at the sewer system we live in. More and more is coming to light, for example, how religions under the umbrella are hiding perverts and paedophiles. We've only seen the tip of the iceberg. God bless the Royal Commission in Australia who were exposing Jehovah's Witnesses. I weep for ordinary sincere JWs. I have no sympathy or empathy for your so-called governing body. Australia is revealing what has happened there? The little children have been actually more than stumbled intellectually, physically raped by people honoured in their congregation, elders even. Now, what's the governing body doing about this? These seven self-appointed leaders in New York. What are they doing? You see, Something's going to change in their policy, but I'm telling you this, it's not going to correct the years and years of demonic activity, I'm talking about paedophilia, that's gone in with that, within that organisation. And the ludicrous thing is, child abusers, years later, have been reappointed as elders in the JW congregation. You know... Uh, I don't know what it's like in America, but to get a job here, you have to do a, what's called um, what's it called? A crime report on you. Can you imagine a paedophile having gone to jail, being appointed as a teacher again? Can you imagine that? And yet, in the Jehovah's Witness organisation, they welcome back to the fold former convicted paedophiles by the police and years later these former paedophiles become appointed men in the Jehovah's Witness congregation. Can you not see this, the ridiculousness of this? There's no such thing as a former paedophile. Once you've crossed the Rubicon, once you've crossed that barrier into demonic activity, there's no way back. You have become pos obsessed and moreover possessed. There's no way back. I'm talking about to be accepted by men again because you do certain perfunctory performances. You have to answer in the judgment And we all know from statistics, a paedophile, a child abuser, doesn't abuse normally just one. And very few children 
will speak up because of the trauma and even women who've been sexually assaulted in the Jehovah's Witness organization by respected men not many come forward because they can't cope with the trauma Matthew 18 governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses you have covered up pedophiles at least two of your former members were perverts Chitty and Greenleys one a child abuser one a homosexual and I don't think that's the whole story your original founder well the second uh, president Russell called himself a jellyfish he was he was a pervert that's why his wife took him to court and she won the case in fact what's going on in Australia reminds me of the Russell trial which if you want to see the script and the uh, performance I've got it on my YouTube list now you think about all the poor children in the world now in the religion of Christendom I'm talking about who grow up under the umbrella of their parents belief but many do wake up many do many recognize the spirit of truth and wake up I'm telling you now any religion I'm talking especially Jehovah's Witnesses harbor pedophiles you see even when these victims in Australia get monetary compensation that's not going to invalidate the decades of PTSD and you know psychological damage is it and the Watchtower send their clever paid lawyers in which you pay for through your contributions ordinary Jehovah's Witness they send these lawyers in under the mosaic law you have to compensate fourfold I think it was for any injury and you quibble you ripped Candace County apart in California with your paid lawyers your hired thugs but it's not working in Australia the father Yahuwah is taking wheels off your chariots gradually like he did with Pharaoh because you have stumbled little children Shalom